begin with break breaking news in the Middle East where Israel has reportedly began retaliatory strikes against Iran. The strikes allegedly hit sites in Iran and explosions heard possibly in Syria and Iraq. Fox's Connor Hansen live from New York right now with the very latest. Connor, what do we know? Marla and Alex, we know U.S. officials are telling Fox News that Israel did carry out a strike in Iran, but so far we still have limited details. We do know there were reports of explosions in the area of Isfahan in Iran. That's an area commonly associated with Iran's nuclear program. Still some mixed signals coming from the different nations in the Middle East. We're not hearing anything from Israel yet. And Iran is actually saying there has been no attack there, saying any explosions people might have heard were from their own missile defense system. So obviously some mixed signals. The U.S. officials speaking to Fox News also added that the U.S. was not involved in this strike. We've actually seen the U.S. and other allies, allies kind of urging Israel not to escalate this and potentially create a wider conflict here. Um, but, you know, this obviously comes after as a retaliatory strike just a few days, not even a week after Iran sent more than 300 drones to attack Israel. Of course, those were pretty much all shot down. Um, so far, we have no information on any damage or anybody hurt in Iran from these strikes. Many people are hoping right now that this uh, was sort of on purpose from Israel to strike back without escalating too much. But of course, we don't know if this is over for sure. Things uh, from reports we're hearing seem to be going back to normal in that area. Commercial flights were diverted or canceled in that area of Iran for quite a while, but now seem, they seem to be going back to normal and are being scheduled again. So um, it looks as if this was uh, just a response and retaliation from the last strike and most, of course, hoping that this doesn't escalate any further. Yeah, and, and Connor, so basically to, to reiterate what you just said, Israel said we launched attacks. Iran says what attacks? There are no attacks. <laughs> and so you've got this weird back and forth going uh, on in, in the Middle East right now. What are we hearing specifically from the White House and from President Biden? So far, pretty mum, right? Pretty much silence right now. Nothing from the White House, nothing from the National Security Council. Uh, right now, this, these are sources speaking to different news outlets on background for the, for the, from the most part. We do know that uh, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Italy right now, and he's expected to be seen at least a couple of times by the press there. So it's fair to expect he'll be getting a lot of questions about this and what's next. So that could be the next opportunity. We'll keep an eye out, of course for the White House to make a statement. Um, you know, it's interesting um, to see not much coming from Israel yet, maybe leaving the option open to see if, uh, if this continues at all. But we saw them even before Iran had their strike last Sunday, sending the drones over. They had said, you know, if Iran launches a strike from their territory, that they would respond in kind. So uh, not, not a huge uh, surprise there, really. They've signaled they would do this in response, but I think they've really been calculating exactly how they want to do this and, uh, you know, do it in a strong way, but uh, not escalate this into a right. wider conflict across the Middle East like so many people have been worried yeah. about. Essentially, you did your thing, we did our thing, let's stop it now. Um, Connor Hansen, thank right. you for your reporting, staying up late for us tonight.